Hi, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be discussing Ananda Balasana, which you may also know as Happy Baby Pose. Let's begin. Let's come onto our backs, and your knees should be bent to the wider part of your hips. Now first, we're going to start off with a single leg version. This is great for people who have SI joint issues, um, tightness in the hip flexors, tightness in the low back. This allows you to work each side at its capacity, okay? So bring the right foot up toward the ceiling. Your right arm reaches to the inside of your thigh and grabs the outside of your foot. So your sole of your foot is completely up toward the ceiling here. You're rotated open from your hip and then we're letting gravity kind of help the knee and the thigh come toward the floor. Your left arm is by your side as a counterbalance. And nice and easily, from your core, start a rocking motion. Now mind you, we're not pulling with the arm. It's the same kind of yoga magic trick of muscular energy meets muscular energy and you get to create open joints. Okay, so my hand is grabbing the outside of my foot. The outside of my foot is pressing into my hand. My arm is straight. I've got a connection here of my wrist sort of near my ankle. And because of that, it's actually going to help me open in my hip and open that joint, okay? Come on back to center release. You want to make sure you're not yanking and pulling. This is not a bent arm deal here, okay? Instead, we're sending energy into itself, okay? Energy from the leg into energy of the arm is going to translate to an opening of the hip. Let's do the left side. So the sole of the foot comes up toward the ceiling, and as it does, watch how my low back comes down toward the mat. I reach across the inside, grab the outside of my foot. My arm is going to stay straight. It's going to maintain energy throughout. Now from my hip, I'm thinking about externally rotating to create space for my knee and my thigh to move toward the ground. And I always like to hang out here for a moment and let gravity do its work. Relax into that joint, send all the tightness out, and then from the core, begin rocking. And one side is always going to feel better and more natural than the other. Okay, now go ahead, come on up to center, release that arm, set it down. We're going to get in position and do double legs, all right? So let's have the right leg lift up. We'll reach on through and get in position. And now the left leg comes up, reach through, get in position. Make sure you're firmly grasping the outside edges of both feet. Make sure you feel muscular energy and connection. Make sure you've got straight arms. Now, from your hips, rotate open, and then take a moment, let gravity help you get into your hips and stretch. Then from your core, start rocking. Make sure your head is in a neutral position. Don't let your chin come up higher than your nose. Feel the massage of your spine on the mat. And when you're done, come back to center. Release the feet. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website www.custompilatesandyoga.com. Thank you.